शिव सरंभा शंकराचार्य मध्यमा अस्मदाचार्यपर्यता वंदे गुरुपरंपरा ओं सहना सहना सह वीर तेजस्वीतमस्तुमाषावे talking or lord you are talking about both you are talking about active lifestyle called karma yoga you are also talking about sanyasa renunciation so which one is better so you are talking about both so you please tell me one which is the means for moksha which will lead me to moksha for that bhagwan firstly he said sanyasa and karma yoga both are finally meant for moksha sanyasa is a lifestyle if it is followed properly it will give jnanam which is the means for moksha karma yoga followed properly it will lead you to chitta shuddhi jnana prapti and moksha so both of them are means for moksha but for a person like you you and person like you karma yoga karma yoga vishishyate karma yoga is better because karma yoga is safe and if a person remains there for long time it will not harm the person if sanyasa person is not ready and goes for sanyasa is a risky path and therefore bhagwan says for you and person like you who need preparation karma yoga is better and bhagwan said that arjuna instead of focusing on formal sanyasa you focus on becoming spirit wise sanyasa 
एंड वट इज द स्पिरिट ऑफ सन्यासा भगवान सेठ नेयस नित्य सन्यासी दैट पर्सन शुड बी अंडरस्टूड टू बी परमानेंट सन्यासी यह न द्वेष्टि न कांक्षति वन हु डज नॉट हेट वन हु डिज नॉट डज नॉट क्रेव फॉर एनीथिंग सो इफ यू वॉन्ट टू बी अ सन्यासी बी अ सन्यासी ऑफ योर राग द्वेशास इंस्टेड ऑफ renouncing your household duties and relationship you try to focus on renouncing your raga and dvesha and generally people like to focus on gross things and apparently problematic but required so responsibility these duties they look very problematic and therefore people want to drop that first how nice if i i give up everything and i take sanyasa so people have a little bit uh, very what is called uh, romantic picture about sanyasa e after they take sanyasa sometimes their life is more miserable than it was there before i know one person he was really relatively relatively e what is called cheerful person highly confident person after he took sanyasa he became so diffident i i have seen that person highly but he will uh, be over confident and after sanyasa because of comparison and uh, certain restrictions come and uh, he has to pretend to be like this and all i saw that his life was miserable he whenever i remember this topic i remember him i have seen this after sanyasa because uh, now they have got certain dignity and all they can't do this and uh, very miserable therefore for most of the people this karma yoga is better than sanyasa most of i don't say all otherwise i would be in trouble because i will you i why did you take sanyasa <laughs> see one thing is that he generally that guru will decide whether this person is ready for sanyasa or not in our tradition generally it is that that so we should not force no no you give me sanyasa if you don't give sanyasa i will not go from here something like that you do <laughs> to guru's house you know like they call dharna they you know what is that uh, strike so like that uh, it is not good so for most of the people especially this person who needs some preparation more preparation karma yoga vishishyate i think most of the time this this is sanyasa is something which requires certain prarabdha also you have to have that type of setup in your life you know so your your some graha should be powerful so that you don't get married and even if you get married your wife goes away or something <laughs> why we leave you this is useless fellow then you are suitable for sanyasa something like that should happen otherwise uh, sanyasa should not be taken according to our tradition when a person takes sanyasa he has to take permission of his parents if he is unmarried if he is married he has to take permission of his wife that is a rule because marriage is a contract you know you cannot breach the contract unilaterally mutually you have to be agreed upon so generally they have to agree upon and that require certain prarabdha and certain preparedness so one should not be in hurry to take sanyasa when appropriate time comes situation is it it's it falls everything in place sanyasa happens but otherwise sanyas karma yoga is better and if you want to follow bhagwan says you try to be sanyasi at your heart instead of changing your dress change your heart instead of coloring your dress your white dress was there now you color it to orange instead of coloring your dress may you color your heart color your mind and what color the color of vairagyam the fire color orange color or kavi so you wear kavi mentally first you become mentally sanyasi and then you become formal sanyasi instead of 
फर्स्ट लेट मी टेक फॉर्मल सनियास बाद में देखा जाएगा देन आई विल ट्राई टू बिकम दैट डजेंट वर्क आफ्टर वर्ड्स ऑल्सो सम केयर एंड ट्रेनिंग रिक्वायर्ड बट टू वेरी ग्रेट एक्सटेंट पर्सन हैज गॉट इनर डिस्पोजिशन ऑफ सनियास दिस पर्सन इज एबल टू बी ऑन हीज और हर ओन the people are missing who oh, i am missing my wife missing my husband my missing my children or missing my swami ji that particular setup some duties some work is there some excitement is there then person should not take sanyasa formal sanyasa instead of that bhagwan says you become inner sanyasi which is freedom from raga and dvesha and then bhagwan says nirdvandvo hi mahaba When you are free from likes and dislikes, you are nirdvandva. Nirdvandva means free from the reaction to pairs of opposite, cold, heat, respect, disrespect, food is given, not given, all all situations. They are called dvandvas, the pairs of opposite. So when you are free from reaction to the pairs of opposite, then sukham easily. बंधात प्रमुच्य दे पर्सन इज रिलीज फ्रॉम बॉन्डेज बाय ज्ञान प्राप्ति ही विल अटेन फ्रीडम फ्रॉम बॉन्डेज अनदर मीनिंग ऑफ प्रतिबंध बंधा इज प्रतिबंधात व्हेन ए पर्सन बिकम्स फ्री फ्रॉम राग द्वेषास देन पर्सन इज फ्री फ्रॉम द ऑब्स्टेकल्स टू ज्ञान प्राप्ति को लाइक्स एंड डिसलाइक्स बिकम द ऑब्स्टेकल इन एसिमुलेटिंग द विस्डम and therefore bandhat means pratibandhat from the obstacles person becomes free now in the next shloka bhagwan is answering a possible question what is the question bhagwan said sanyasa and karma yoga both are leading to moksha the question can be how both are opposite sanyasa means renouncing karma karma yoga means doing karma renouncing karma and doing karma they are opposite and opposite thing should bring opposite result how you can say both are leading to moksha if you take some acidic solution or you take some alkaline solution result effect in your stomach will be different you know you eat then also same effect and some lime juice you take same effect how it is possible acidic and alkaline should have different opposite effect so sanyasa is renouncing karma karma yoga is doing karma how can they be both leading to nishreyasa moksha that idea bhagwan is that particular question bhagwan is answering in the next shloka sankhya yoga prathak bala ha sankhya yoga prathak bala pravadanti na pandita ha उभयोर्विंदते लिटरली मीन्स चिल्ड्रन बट हियर इट इज इमेच्योर पीपल अनइनफॉर्मड पीपल इग्नोरेंट पीपल दे Pravadanti, they talk about sankhya and yoga. Here sankhya represents sanyasa, yoga represents karma yoga. Sanyasa and karma yoga, prithak, they are different, opposite result. In this manner, only ignorant people talk about. ignorant people who don't understand what is real sankhya what is real yoga they only say that sanyasa and karma yoga are opposite really fruit result wise they are not opposite form wise they are opposite you are right in sanyasa karmas are renounced in karma yoga karmas are performed but in both of them the final result is the same what is the final result it is said ekam api astitah samyak even one thing person resort to samyak very well then ubhayoho phalam vindate one attains the result of both means what 
वट एवर इज द रिजल्ट ऑफ कर्म योगा वट एवर कर्म योगा इज फाइनली मेंट फॉर एंड वट एवर इज संस फाइनली मेंट फॉर बोथ ऑफ देम आर वन ओनली वट इज दट ज्ञान मोक्ष डिस्कवरी ऑफ इनर फ्रीडम थ्रू नॉलेज दट इज दि एम ऑफ कर्म योगा लाइफ स्टाइल दट इज द एम ऑफ संस लाइफ स्टाइल एज वी हेव सीन अर्लियर ऑल्सो whether you study at home or study in the hostel both of them have to write exam well and that will give the same result if you write well remaining at home or remaining in the hostel you write well you will get good result in in these while checking they will not see that you are remaining in hostel therefore different marks remaining in the remaining at home different marks there is no such thing so preparing at home or preparing it in the hostel both will have the same result only thing wherever you are you remain sincere in your pursuit what matters more is your sincerity than the setup you must have seen the people who are very sincere in difficult situation also they perform well and some people who are not sincere in a very conducive atmosphere they don't study well you have seen the very rich people the children they they have all set up all table lamp is there separate room is there everything is there they don't study well and some people very little convenience street light also they may study so idea bhagwan wants to highlight is एकमें विच एवर आश्रम यू आर सम्यक आस्थिता यू स्टे इन दट आश्रम वेरी वेल मीन्स फॉलो दि दि सेटअप फॉलो दि वट इज कल दि रूल एंड रेग्युलेशन रिटेड टू दट आश्रम इफ यू आर ए सन्यासी बी ए गुड सन्यासी बी ए सन्यासी लाइक शंकराचार्य इफ यू आर ए गृहस्थ बी ए गृहस्थ लाइक जनक राजा so wherever you are if you are a sanyasi like shankaracharya then also you get moksha if you are a grihastha like janak raja you can become you can get moksha so what matters is your sincerity in your pursuit yeah if you have a choice your prarabdha is conducive when you take sanyasa good but don't say that i am not getting moksha because i am in grihastha पर्सन इज नॉट बिकॉज ऑफ दैट इन हिंदी से नाच नारी का अंगन टेढ़ा मीन्स वॉट ए पर्सन डजेंट नो हाउ टू डांस वेल एन ई डजेंट डांस वेल एंड पीपल आर हाउ कम यू आर मिसिंग द स्टेप्स इज से दैट ग्राउंड इज लिटल इज स्लोपिंग ग्राउंड इज स्लोपिंग देर फॉर ग्राउंड इज फ्लैट ओनली जस्ट नाउ अदर पर्सन डांस बट वी हैव टेंडेंसी टू ब्लेम द सेटअप फॉर अवर वीकनेस Why didn't you do well? Because my pen was not okay. The pen was not okay. You were not okay. So we have this. If you ask lady, you know that why today didn't come out well? Oh, this happened, that happened. Very rarely we will admit that I missed this part. The gas was not working. This was not something. My husband was disturbing me every time on phone call. So something, <laughs> some reason that came. <laughs> Human being. is very very expert in giving excuses they said about one uh, on state one particular state he said that state is very busy finding out the reasons why they are not progressing they are not putting their resources to progress they are using their all resources to find i mean to give get the new new excuses this problem that problem so idea is that shastra wants to say that don't blame the setup yeah if you have choice to have more conducive setup fine please do it he somebody is swami today i could not uh, listen to the class why i have to sit at the back he, he, <laughs> so that is not the reason <laughs> so don't blame the seat yeah if you are in front perhaps you have got more concentration yeah and because you cannot sleep you know swami ji <laughs> so perhaps you may have some advantage here but you cannot say that just because i did not get good seat therefore i could not uh, listen or something listening is the same 
Sir, Azamiji, you are not looking at me. Therefore, I didn't understand anything today. <laughs> Some people have this. Swamiji, you don't look at me only. You are looking at that person only. What is there in that person? Is he giving some more dakshina or what? <laughs> so, Bhagavan says, Arjuna, don't insist on a particular setup. Whether you are in Sanyasa Ashrama or you are in Grihastha Ashrama, if you are living your life well, then both the ashramas are suitable. There is a very beautiful shloka, Vaneshu dosha prabhavanti raginaha. If people are having attachment, ragadveshas, even they are in the forest, they will have quarrel. They will have quarrel with some tribals, they will have quarrel with some animals and remaining this stuff. Where? In the forest also. Vaneshu dosha prabhavanti raginaha and griheshu panchendriya nigraha tapaha remaining in the house, remaining in the household setup but with some mastery over the organs, not getting lost in the indulgence. Then, nivrutta ragasya griham tapovanam. It's a very beautiful sentence. Nivrutta ragasya griham tapovanam. A person who does not have ragadvesha, his house itself is an ashrama. One lady was missing this ashram. She was here for some time and missing ashram. Then he said, Swamiji, I am missing ashram. What to do? I said, you have so many rooms. One room on the outside, you write ashram. <laughs> Arshavidya Gurukulam, you write there. And whenever you are missing, you go and you have that type of setup where you can meditate, you can uh, you can chant, you can listen to the talks. Nowadays you can listen. That's all. It is finally it is in your mind. So I said you call your word room as ashram. So griheshu the nivrutta ragasya griham tapovanam. If you are having vairagyam, your house is ashrama. And if you have ragadvesha, your ashram is house. Worse than house. The ordinary house. Means, you will make a samsara even in the forest. And if you have got maturity, even in the household setup, you can create the atmosphere of ashram. There are, I know some couple, they are, they, are, they are leading a very, very committed life. So, house is as good as ashram. So, if Bhagavan wants to say, wherever you are, Stay well. Remain sincere to your pursuit. That's what matters. Alright. And now this idea, Bhagavan is elaborating further in the next slogan. Yat Sankhya Prapyate Sthanam Tad Yogai Rapi Gamyate Ekam Sankhyam Cha Yogam Cha Ekam Sankhyam Cha Yogam Cha Yah Pashyati Sa Pashyati So in the previous shloka, in the fourth shloka it was said, if a person remains in either of the ashraba, either of the setup, the karma yoga setup or sannyasa setup, he will attain the result of both. How is it so? That is explained here. Yat sankhyate sankhyehi prapyate sthanam. Sthanam here means destination. Tishthati aspiniti sthanam. The destination is called here sthanam. So whatever destination prapyate is attained by sankhyehi means sannyasis. So whatever destination is attained by sannyasi, tad that destination, yogaihi, here yoga means yogi bihi, by karma yogi, api also gamyate attained. So whatever destination is attained by sannyasi, same destination is attained by karma yogi. And what is the same destination? Moksha. So karma yogi also can attain moksha, remaining in karma yoga lifestyle, 
and sannyasi also can attain moksha and therefore if you stay in one ashrama well you will attain the result of both result of both is the same what is the result moksha result of karma yoga also is moksha result of sanyasa yoga also is moksha so you will attain result of both either way so here bhagwan doesn't want to say that there are so many paths for moksha that is not the idea many people based on this they get the the idea that bhagwan is telling that there are so many paths for moksha you can karma yoga also you can get moksha jnana yoga also you can get moksha and bhakti yoga also you can go to moksha raj yoga also you can get moksha that is not the message here moksha is by jnana only why because moksha is equal to freedom from bondage and my bondage is in the form of sense of limitation and sense of limitation is caused because of identification with limited body mind sense complex and identification with limited body mind sense complex is because of ignorance therefore my bondage is because of ignorance ignorance of what ignorance of my true nature and ignorance can go only by knowledge therefore freedom is only by gnana in that there is no option moksha is only by gnana it is something like the 10th man who is missing the 10th man and searching for the 10th man now how we can get 10th man only by knowing that i am the 10th man there is no other way 10th man can get the 10th man only by knowing i am the 10th man similarly moksha is only by knowing that i am ever free i am limitless there is no other way in that there is no option in purusha suktam nanya pantha ayanaya vidyate there is no other path for moksha and therefore moksha is by gnana only but for getting dhanam there are two setups possible two lifestyles are possible and one is sanyasa lifestyle the nivritti marga other is called pravritti marga karma yoga lifestyle as i told you for getting this uh, uh, good result in exam you have to write your exam well getting first rank you have to write well and writing well you can uh, do by preparing at home or preparing in the hostel that there is there is no problem so only options are there in lifestyle where remaining where you get dhanam dhanam alone will give moksha but where you will pursue dhanam remaining at home and attending vedanta classes going to the class or you remain in the ashram and get dana yes people say that that remaining in ashram is better because no distraction and all this they say that but that is only one side of the story if you are in ashram then there are so many other things you have to put up with so certain facilities will not be there certain health issues you cannot attend very well certain food you require you don't get and some health issue is there nobody to attend to feeling lonely there are so many issues in ashram it only thing those who stay there you ask them see after the course is most of the people leave they 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 want to that 31st course gets over first they leave they are ready to fly yeah ashram also has its own issues so everything in this world has got plus and minus in this world in samsara there is no place there is no setup which is free from problems tell me one setup which country is free from problems there is no see even though the country which is supposed to be a highly the countries with the highest happiness index they also will have issues it, it is that is less issue may be there but it is not that issues are not there if you go and ask them they will say that we have problems i think finland or some country is there 
highest happiness index. They have problem. India also has got problem, but India has got advantage. You know what? That in India you get vairagyam very fast because for every small things you have to struggle. So it is a very very suitable country for moksha. <laughs> Nothing goes so easy. Everything, so you really get vairagya. Oh, what to do? Samsara veva nissaram tattva didrikshaya. So, really, that's why being born in India is considered to be very lucky. One reason is this also. There are so many other reasons. One reason is that your vairagya is faster. All right. So, there is no perfect setup. I generally give this example that in this hall, which chair is the best without any problem? There is no chair. Every chair has got some plus point, some minus point. In front you are there, even though you feel like moving, you say, no, no, we should not move. So, it's a problem. Backside you can sleep also, no problem. <laughs> plus point, but you have to have so many heads in between, they move, then you also have to move your head. It's a disadvantage. So, Bhagavan wants to say that in whichever setup you are, you can get dhanam, you can get moksha. That's what he said. Ekam sankhyam cha yogam cha ya pasyati sa pasyati. One who is seeing that is sannyasa, sankhya represents sannyasa, yoga means karma yoga. One who sees that, one who appreciates that sannyasa and karma yoga are one and the same in terms of effect. Result, saha pasyati, that person has understood well. That whichever setup you are in, what matters is your sincerity to the pursuit of knowledge, pursuit of moksha. If you have got a, a good household setup, that is good. And if sannyasa also, there are many people who they want to Get away from sannyasa, but they don't, they can't. Puja Swamiji was telling that when he went to Uttar Kashi, then one sannyasi told, don't become sannyasi. He said, Swamiji said, I was wondering, because I did not tell that I want to take sannyasa, but Swamiji perhaps was, you know, growing beard or something, and therefore he, he thought. So one sannyasi told Puja Swamiji, don't become sannyasi. Then the Swamiji said, I became curious. That why this person is giving me advice without even asking? Then he told, See, before taking sannyasa, I had kept some money in post office. And uh, this money interest was coming, but now expense is going up, inflation is going up, therefore that money is not enough. Therefore don't take sannyasa. So imagine, he was already a sannyasi. And he is advising means what? He is miserable. He is feeling miserable. Then only will he advise. Therefore, don't say that sannyasa alone will give moksha. Don't say karma yoga alone will give moksha. There is other extreme. Some people say that sannyasi are useless. Sannyasi don't have experience of life. Therefore, they will not have maturity. And therefore, they cannot get moksha. Only grihasthas can get moksha. There are other extreme also. That grihasthas are superior because they have got experience of life. Where the sannyasis are very careless fellows, irresponsible. You know, see small thing they will shout and fight and all this. And it is true also. There are some sannyasis for small, small thing they will fight. Whereas grihasthas will adjust. So sannyasi, they, they don't care. Therefore, he said, oh, I'll go fight. They fight also. So that also is wrong. Sannyasis cannot get moksha is wrong. Grihasthas cannot get moksha is wrong. Who can get moksha? Whoever gets jnanam will get moksha. What matters is jnanam. Where you are, that doesn't matter. How you are, that matters. How means sincere you are to your pursuit. And I tell you, if you are sincere and if you require sannyasa, Bhagavan will grant it. Is, the situation will be such that uh, you know you will be led to sannyasa. 
And if you are not, even after taking sannyasa, life may be miserable. And therefore Bhagavan says, Arjuna, don't focus too much on this formal sannyasa. You focus on being inner sannyasi, spirit wise sannyasi. One who understands this, he will see that both the setups are one and the same in terms of result. Result wise same. It is something like, you know, aeroplane, we have got boarding from front gate or the rear gate. But a destination is same, no? Some people may fight for that. Why you are asking me to go all the way? Why, what do you lose? I can go from here. Unnecessary. Whether you, you board from this front gate or the, the back side gate, you will reach the same place. In aeroplane also people, you know, that queue also, they have got to be in front. Hey, wherever you are, even last also, you will reach the same place. But people have got anxiety. Always to be fast and all this and therefore they they try to rush. You can be very comfortable. You know. Why why to why to rush? The plane already you have reached, so they will take you and then only go. In fact, they will come in search of you. Where is this picture? Ram Kumar, Ram Kumar, Ram Kumar. So, <laughs> so you don't have to worry. They will take you. But the anxiety is there. So really speaking, don't focus. Don't bother about this, the external setup, focus on inner setup. Alright. Now, Arjuna still may say, Bhagavan, whatever you say, sannyasa is sannyasa. <laughs> you know, <laughs> like you say, no? Chennai is Chennai, Sabi. Whatever you say, Chennai, Koyamthur, both are same, but no, no, Chennai is Chennai. For <laughs> some people say, Koyamthur is Koyamthur. That way also. So, similarly, Arjuna may say, Bhagavan, whatever you say, but I like sannyas. If both are okay, then also I like sannyas. Tea and coffee, both are okay. So I will prefer coffee. So similarly, sannyas and karma yoga, even both are okay. Still, I like sannyasa. So Bhagavan is going to answer that possible doubt. So that Arjuna's is fancy obsession, craze for sannyasa is reduced. That's what Bhagavan does in the next shloka. Sanyasastu Mahabaho Sanyasastu Mahabaho Dukkamaptu Mayogataha Dukkamaptu Mayogataha Yoga Yukto Munir Brahma Yoga Yukto Munir Brahma Nachirena de Gachati Nachirena de Gachati He Mahabaho, He Arjuna Tu However, but sannyasa, here sannyasa has got two meanings. One meaning of sannyasa is the ultimate sannyasa. And what is the ultimate sannyasa? The ultimate sannyasa is renunciation of all actions through the knowledge of the self being actionless. That is the ultimate sannyasa. And that is the means for moksha. Means the discovery that I am free from action. That discovery is making you free from the bondage of action. And that sannyasa is called paramarthika sannyasa, the ultimate sannyasa. And the ultimate sannyasa is the goal, goal of karma yogi and even sannyasi. Even formal sannyasi has to discover this ultimate sannyasa. And Bhagavan says, this ultimate sannyasa is dukkha bhaptum, is very difficult to attain. For whom? Ayogataha, without the practice of karma yoga. If a person has not followed the life of karma yoga, and not attain Chitta Shuddhi, then this ultimate sannyasa is very difficult. In fact, difficult is not the word, impossible. Because this ultimate sannyasa is by knowledge. And knowledge is possible only when a person is prepared. And preparation is possible only by Karma Yoga. 
सो इफ ए पर्सन इज नॉट हैविंग कर्म योगा बैकग्राउंड नॉट हैविंग सफिशियंट प्रिपेयर्डनेस देन द अल्टीमेट सन्यासा इज नॉट पॉसिबल एंड दैट इज व्हाट फाइनली वन हैज टू अटेक दैट इज वन मीनिंग अनदर मीनिंग ऑफ सन्यासा वी कैन टेक इज इवन फॉर्मल सन्यासा फॉर्मल सन्यासा विथ इफेक्टिवनेस इज डिफिकल्ट टू अटेन विदाउट कर्म योगा द आइडिया इज दैट ए पर्सन विल हैव इफेक्टिव सन्यासा फ्रूटफुल सन्यासा ओनली इफ ए पर्सन हैज प्रिपेर्ड वन सेल्फ विथ कर्म योगा If preparedness is not there and formal sannyasa is taken, it will not be effective. In fact, one meaning of dukkha maaptu is that also. It will become the means for dukkha. For an unprepared person, sannyasa, the formal sannyasa, renunciation of this relationship, possession, duties, that will become the means for dukkha. That also is the meaning. it will become miserable for the person sanyasa will be a problem for the person because he doesn't have this purity of the mind to make use of sanyasa and now he has renounced all the duties so preparatory means also are gone and since he does not have preparedness therefore sanyasa will not benefit him it is something like somebody somehow got admission in very good college iit somehow we got by manipulation in exam and all this nowadays in india it is possible that neat exam you you get some paper you know leaked and all somehow you got you but you are not prepared for that and you got admission what will be the situation miserable iit very good college but if you are not prepared it is miserable for you in fact your complex will be little thicker complex why because all of are very brilliant because they have come by real their their preparedness and you have come by back door entry <laughs> therefore you will be really miserable it is better you remain in ordinary college you will have relatively good self esteem because all are like you and they are in iit <laughs> that iit will be miserable so that's what bhagwan is telling if you are not prepared and if you go to sanyasa it is something like unqualified person going to iit so bhagwan says ayogatah sanyasah dukham aptum it is difficult to attain effective sanyasa without karma yoga and in fact it can become the means for misery why because no the there is no quality to take benefit of sanyasa it is something like you are given full time at your disposal you are given what room okay you be here whatever you want to do to see if you are highly evolved person you can use your time very well you can do contemplation you can do study and you feel very good about it wow nothing nothing to be done i am very happy but if you are not having maturity if you are not having contemplativeness if you do not have that love for peace you always like some people to talk to then you are given one room at your disposal it is a punishment like in covid many people are they were what they call they call quarantine quarantine what a punishment it was <laughs> they will not follow in quarantine <laughs> they will somehow talk and all so quarantine is a punishment but if you are mature wow great nice i can just do my things you know nobody will disturb me <laughs> because when when i am quarantine people will not disturb because they are afraid so <laughs> they will not disturb very good so if you are mature prepared solitary solitude is a blessing if you are not solitude is a punishment that is what it is 
So Bhagavan says, Arjuna, if you are not prepared without prepared by karma yoga, if you are not prepared, then sannyasa will be effective, sannyasa will be difficult to attain, not only difficult to attain, it will become the source of misery for you. Because setup somehow you manage, but the ability to use the setup you have to earn. You have to earn by your inner preparedness. Like they say, you can buy music CD by money, but to enjoy music you require certain preparedness. You should understand the difference between Rag, Indolam and Mohan. So otherwise you both will like the same. I think they are different, no? Ah, yeah. <laughs> so you should know what is a Mano Dharma and what, how this Raga he has developed and all this. You should have that ability. Otherwise, you will think it's a very noisy thing, you know. <laughs> Raga will look very noisy. So, money can buy you CD. Money cannot make you enjoy. Similarly, you can manipulate to get some setup, IIT admission. But to get benefit of IIT, you have to prepare yourself. So, Bhagavan says, Arjuna, somehow you get permission from me. Bhagavan Krishna, he, Arjuna is telling, indirectly is telling, Bhagavan, you tell me you have, can go for sannyasa, you can go for sannyasa. Like child is asking, oh, sir, can I go home? Can I go home? Like that. <laughs> Similarly, <laughs> Arjuna is telling Bhagavan, Swamiji, Bhagavan, can I take sannyasa? Can I take sannyasa? Bhagavan says, Arjuna, you, if you are insisting and perhaps if I say yes, since you are after me and nagging so much, so even if I say yes, your life will be present. That's what he said. Sannyasas to Mahabhavo, Dukkha Maptuma Yogata. Dukkha Maptu has got both the meanings. It is difficult to attain, sannyasa is difficult to attain and sannyasa will become the means for dukkha. Why? There is no means for preparation and there is no inner infrastructure to get benefit of sannyasa. Whereas, Bhagavan gives the contrast. Yoga Yuktaha A person who has lived the life of Karma Yoga and has become Muni Muni means contemplative, one who, is do, one who is doing Shravana and Manana, he is called Muni. Mananat Muni. Muni doesn't mean he has to have a beard. Muni means a person who is contemplative, capable of doing Shravana Manana. That person, Adhigachyati attains. What? Brahma. Brahma which is the Paramartha Sanyasa. The ultimate Sanyasa and Brahma are one and the same because the nature of Brahman is Sarva Karma Rahita. It is free from all action. So, Brahman is a sannyasi. Pure Brahman is sannyasi. Why? Because free from all actions. So, Brahman, which is the ultimate sannyasa, na chirena means without any delay, one attains. So, Bhagavan wants to say, Arjuna, if you are prepared, any ashram is okay. If you are not prepared, it is better to remain in karma yoga setup. That is the message. Now in the next shloka, this yoga yuktaha, the person who is prepared with karma yoga attains Brahman. How is it so? That is described this, and presenting various stages of sadhana. Yoga yukto vishuddhatma Yoga yukto vishuddhatma Vijitatma jitendriya Sarva Bhutatma Bhutatma Kurvanna Pina Lipyate So here Bhagavan presents five stages. The first one is Yoga Yuktaha, being endowed with Karma Yoga. People like to, you know, finish this Karma Yoga first. But how long person has to remain? As long as it is required. There is something like, how long you have to keep the roti on the pan? As long as it is not cooked. Till it is cooked, it has to be kept there. How, you, how long you have to put this, this cooker etc. on the gas? Till cooking is done. 
So you also has to be cooked. You have to cook yourself. So by karma yoga, Bhagavan is cooking you. Getting you ready. And how long? It depends upon the person. Like some, uh, you know, grams. It takes more time to cook. Rice, etc. Less time. In rice also varieties are there. Some rice is cooked very fast. Brown rice takes long, longer time. So if we are like brown rice, we will <laughs> we, <laughs> then we will take more time to be cooked. Somebody is like a white ordinary rice. Then it is cooked fast. He will go. He, both of us started same same date, and he goes fast. Possible. So it depends. We cannot say that karma yoga for three years. People want this this type of program from Swami. Swami, you tell me whole moksha program. You tell me whole <laughs> package. You know, like a tourist package. No, that uh, five three days will stay here. Two days will stay there. At uh, one day will journey. At one day will uh, enjoy there. And well, five days after fifty days come back. So similarly, Swami, the moksha you tell me. How many stages are there? At each stage, how many years it will take? They want package deal. So <laughs> there is how many year we cannot give. Exactly like if somebody asks, how much time it takes to cook rice? Can you give fixed time? You cannot give. Even if you give, you have to specify. If rice is of this variety, takes this per time. If it's a brown rice. We know it. In fact, we had to some brown rice. We had to give away because it was taking more time and it's difficult to digest. Also, some people it takes more time. That's all. So similarly, there is in sadhana there is no fixed period. It depends upon how mature, immature you are in this life. See, our journey is not only in, is not might not have started in this journey. We have been traveling in this pursuit for so many years, and this may be your last journey. In fact, that is how you should think. As a as a sincere mumukshu, you should always think this is my last journey. If you think now, Swami Ji, I, I will take next journey, one more journey. You know. Next journey, I want to become uh, American president or something, and then only I will get moksha. Or next journey, Swami Ji, I want to become Indra. Then next jama I will get moksha. Then you will not get moksha. So sincere, the a intelligent sadaka should always think this may be my last jama. I can make it. It is up to you. You remain sincere. It is possible. But some people have so deep inferiority complex. They will say no, no, sir. I don't think. So. Some for you it may be so, but for not for me. There is no such thing. If you are ready here and now, when you are free, right now. Vedanta doesn't make you free. Vedanta makes you discover you are already free. So we believe in cash transaction. Cash transaction be here and now. Not promissory note, check and all this. What is called uh, draft and all this. Right now. And therefore, depending upon your background, various stages takes various time. So first is yoga yukta, karma yoga. Second is what vishuddhatma. Because of karma yoga, your atma, your atma means the mind. Mind is pure. Person becomes pure minded. Remember one thing in Vedanta, we never say that the atma is to be purified. Even though word Atma is used, but one has to understand Atma there in the sense of mind. Mind alone requires purification. Atma is ever pure. Even when you think yourself to be impure, you are pure. That is the greatness of the vision of Vedanta. Vedanta says, "You were pure. You are pure." And you cannot but be pure. We are not making you pure. You are already pure. Purity is your original nature. 
then what about this impurity you are talking about this impurity is there in the mind so impurity of the mind is to be removed what is the impurity of the mind likes and dislikes strong likes and dislikes are the impurity of the mind why they are called impurity because they are coming in my way to discover that i am ever pure so this this is very interesting to note even though i am ever pure but to understand i am ever pure i require the purity of the mind with pure mind alone i can discover i am ever pure so some level purity is required but at atma level purity is not required you don't become pure you are pure essentially you the self are pure but mind is impure which requires purity so your mind purity is talked about vishuddha atma so first stage is yoga yukta second is vishuddha atma you become pure minded third is what third and fourth is vijita atma ditendriya mastery over the body and the mind jitendriya mastery over the organs so mastery over the body mind sense complex is the third stage which is generally attained more by ashtanga yoga and upasana meditation meditation helps you meditation with yoga practice helps you to attain mastery over the body senses and the mind that is the third stage and with this preparedness when you attain gnanam then you discover what sarva bhutatma bhutatma that is the fourth stage sarva bhutatma bhutatma means discovering oneself to be the self of all generally what i what we think i am the self in this body i am the self of this body you are the self of your body she is self of her body whereas vedanta says that there is only one self behind all the bodies so not only i am the self obtaining in this body i am the self obtaining in obtaining in every body how can you say so the reason is i am consciousness what is self consciousness and the same consciousness is present in every body therefore i am this inner self consciousness which is the self of all like it is something like a wave discovers that i am water and i am water and that water is the self of all the waves this water is not only the self of this wave which i call i this water is the self of all the waves so wave enlightened wave indian ocean wave will say what i am the self of all the waves because i am water and as water i am the essence the content of all the waves similarly when you lift yourself your identity sense of identity from the body to the consciousness then you also can say i am the self of all as the body you cannot claim when you are saying i am this 5 ft or 6 ft uh, tall 60 kg 70 kg uh, weight that i i cannot claim to be the self of all but when you lift yourself to consciousness you identify yourself with consciousness you discover yourself to be consciousness then you can say i am the self of all because consciousness is the self of everybody so that is called sarva bhutatma bhutatma that is the stage of becoming a wise person so sarva bhutatma is a is the fourth stage and that is the stage of wisdom and what is the fifth stage kurvan napina lipyate because of wisdom even though physically doing the action 
न लिप्यते नॉट अफेक्टेड बाय पुण्य पापा और एनी टाइप ऑफ बॉन्डेज सो फिफ्थ वन इज दिस फ्रीडम फ्रॉम एक्शन सो फर्स्ट स्टेज इज प्रैक्टिसिंग कर्म योगा सेकेंड इज बिकमिंग फ्री फ्रॉम इंप्योरिटी थर्ड इज मास्टरी ओवर द बॉडी मैंड सेंस कॉम्प्लेक्स फोर्थ इज अ विस्डम फिफ्थ इज फ्रीडम फ्रॉम एक्शन फ्रीडम फ्रॉम द बॉन्डेज ऑफ एक्शन तो कुरवन नपी न लिप्यते मीन्स even while doing the activities physically he is not affected more about this we will see in the next class om purnamada purnamidam purnat purnam gachyate purnasya purnamadaya purnameva vashishyate om shanti 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 hari om shri